This is going to be a video of a tour of my game room. It's been about four and a half years since the last iteration of this video, so there's been a significant number of changes and improvements. Uh, so we'll do a panorama of the entire room and then go into the detail. So this is the front wall, starting from left to right. And this is the right wall, we'll go from top to bottom. And this is the back wall sitting area. And this is the entryway. And the other side of the entryway. and the left side of the room, again, top to bottom. For the detail, uh, we've installed a 110-inch uh, movie screen here, made by Elite Screens with a 1.1 gain. And to go with the screen, we got this Sony projector, the VW350ES model, uh, which is a little over two years old now. So um, the successor uh, iteration is being sold now, and this, so this exact model is discontinued. But uh, you know, it's a native 4K projector which which is great so while it does um, you know have the feature to upscale all your 1080 content um, you know it is a native 4k projector which there aren't aren't that many on the consumer market um, the other thing about this uh, this projector that's pretty great for a gamer is that it has a gaming mode which reduces the input lag obviously if you're a competitive gamer and into first person shooters especially online um, you know projectors almost never the way to go, um, but uh, as an RPG fan, uh, this works great. And so the gaming mode actually reduces the uh, lag to about 17 milliseconds, um, which again is not great compared to a TV or obviously not compared to a uh, gaming monitor, but um, you know sufficient for kind of single player uh, campaign games. Um, and when you have all the you know upscaling and all the you know the, the, the quality um, the picture quality uh, features that it has built in, um, the lag uh, can run as high as 80 or 90 milliseconds, which you know is fine for, for movies and watching TV and that type of thing. And while the projector is great, unfortunately I blew my entire budget on it, and as a result I did not leave myself any funds to have the wires installed, and I am not very handy. So unfortunately I am stuck with this uh, aesthetic with an extension cord and exposed wiring, but you know, I guess it's a, it's a small price to pay. So the front of the room is where I have all my components set up. Um, in the middle shelf here, we have the, you know, the PS4, 
and the Xbox One, and then on the bottom, kind of their predecessors in the, the 360 um, and the PS3. Um, obviously, everything running into the receiver. Um, you know, to get the signal, you know, to the projector, um, we're running a 40-foot HDMI cable, uh, which we got with the Red Mirror technology to make sure that it could, you know, boost the signal uh, to make sure it can travel that far without much uh, degradation. Um, you know, and then on the top here, we just have the center channel speaker for the 5.1 um, surround sound. This room doesn't really have a good setup for a 7.1 system, but um, the 5.1 is pretty good. And uh, the company for the speakers is a company called Aperion, which is not a, that's the logo there, which is not a real well-known company, but they're pretty critically acclaimed. And um, I've had these speakers for, um, I guess, um, almost seven years now, and I've been, been very happy with their quality. To the left is where I'm kind of just storing some of the older consoles, um, the original launch day Xbox 360, uh, to the right of that, a uh, Wii, the GameCube, and the lighting is not great, so you probably can't see it, but there's a PS2 there. Um, so they're just kind of sitting there, not really hooked up. Um, on the left side of this wall, we uh, have the, the Paragon symbol from Mass Effect, which is my favorite gaming franchise. Um, and next to that, we have the uh, Obi-Wan uh, lightsaber. Um, you know, figure it goes well with the, the Paragon side. Above the screen, uh, these are actually hand-painted um, uh, characters on canvas that my wife actually uh, painted herself, which came up pretty well. Um, and opposite the Paragon side, we have the you know the Renegade side, which obviously is um, you know the Paragon Renegade has been retired for Mass Effect Andromeda, but uh, at least through the original trilogy. Um, and to go with that, we have the Darth Vader uh, uh, lightsaber. I figure that goes well with the Renegade side. Uh, there's the just the subwoofer. And then uh, a turret, a blow-up turret uh, from Portal. Moving over to the left wall, uh, we have the map from Red Dead Redemption, and also um, some Borderlands. And then we have some more logos that my wife uh, painted. On the top shelf where we store our games, uh, we have here's where we have the. Uh, pop vinyl figures. Um, again, Mass Effect being well represented with Tally, Garrus, and Grunt. And then from Borderlands we have Claptrap and Mad Moxie. The top shelf here is, unfortunately, that's my backlog, uh, which is out of control. Um, I have a bad habit of buying games uh, Upon release with every intention to play them and then uh, you know more games come out and I never get uh, to them so unfortunately I am about 50 deep right now um, but at some point I'll get to play them uh, at least that's what I tell myself uh, the next row here is just uh, kind of blu-ray discs and kind of the same thing and that we have a Zelda themed Wii controller just sitting there um, and then the bottom shelf, oh, actually this shelf is um, some various art books, um, Horizon, Mass Effect, Assassin's Creed, and then the bottom shelf has um, kind of games that were completed from kind of two generations ago now, so PlayStation 2, the GameCube, the Xbox OG, and the Wii. Next to the backlog and Blu-ray shelf is kind of like my Bioshock section here with some Bioshock uh, posters. Um, they all came from the uh, Bioshock 2 collector's edition. And then below that, kind of several other kind of uh, collectible items, um, obviously Master Chief and Cortana. Uh, 
from the Halo 3 Collector's Edition. We got Trico from The Last Guardian, which unfortunately I wasn't able to finish because the controls fury infuriated me, uh, but I liked where they were going with it until to the point that I got to. Um, it's kind of the center part here with more Bioshock, so Songbird, Big Daddy, and Elizabeth from Infinite. And then next to that, um, Fallout, we got the uh, Pit Boy from the Fallout 4 uh, Collector's Edition, and Vault Boy. And then next to that, we got Corvo Atano's Mask from the Dishonored 2 Collector's Edition. And then below that, we just have some, ver again, kind of various art books and strategy guides, some other just peripheral stuff down there. Um, where we have our PS4 controller charging kit and our Xbox One and Xbox 360 charging kit. And there's my Nintendo 3DS, which is the uh, Zelda version and the carrying case. To the right of the Bioshock section is the completed games uh, shelf, um, which is dominated by uh, Assassin's Creed over here. Um, we got the assassins kind of uh, in order. I wasn't able to find an Altair statue, but we got Ezio, Connor, Edward Conway, and Arno. Uh, I do not have Syndicate. Uh, I'm not sure if they ever got released, but I don't have the brother and sister from Syndicate. Um, some other minor Assassin's Creed stuff. Um, below that is the completed PS4 log uh, to date. Um, kind of OCD, so it's in order of uh, by genre, then by favorite game within that genre. So RPG is my favorite, and The Witcher 3 is my favorite uh, PS4, uh, followed by Horizon and Fallout 4, and then Dragon Age Inquisition and Deus Ex. Anyway, then kind of goes into kind of like uh, more action type games like uh, the Last of Us Remastered, Uncharted 4, Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, Shadow of Mordor, that type of thing. And then followed by kind of shooters and uh, story games. So we have some Telltale games back there. Um, as a, uh, I guess, book stand or game stand, uh, we have a portal guy, and it actually goes to the other side of it down below. And we got a little bit of Lara, Lara Croft um, there. Uh, below the PS4 version is the Xbox uh, One catalog. Um, similar um, kind of by genre uh, organization. Um, while last generation I played all my games on the all my cross-platform games on 360. Um, given the uh, better resolution that most games have on the PS4, I switched over this generation. So my Xbox is. Uh, more or less limited to exclusives and uh, shooters since I do like the controller better. So I will be getting the Scorpio whenever that comes out so that I can switch back to the uh, Xbox as my primary platform of choice. Um, and then just after that we got Shell from Portal and then some stuff from uh, Life is Strange. Below that not much of a handheld gamer but um, just the DS and 3DS games. And then the completed games from last generation, again, genre, then by uh, order. So Mass Effect, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Dragon Age, um, you know, The Witcher, all kind of being my favorite series. And then to the right of the completed games, um, we have a kind of Zelda mural here, along well as a 
um, Mario Brothers uh, poster. And then kind of below that, um, we have uh, Nathan Drake and uh, Aiden Pierce uh, statues over here. And then again, another non-gaming memorabilia here. Uh, this is my wife made this uh, egg, dragon egg, from a game to make it look like the Game of Thrones uh, egg. Above the Zelda mural here, um, this I don't know how it shows on screen, but the uh, the, the wall is um, at a diagonal, and so we have several posters here. Um, this is my. Favorite one is the silk screen um, showing the linkage between Bioshock Infinite, um, Columbia, and uh, you know Rapture from the uh, original two games. And, Dragon Age. and the rest of these posters have been up for a while, so they are relatively dated. As a backdrop to the sitting area, which is currently being occupied by my dogs, Yoshi and Bowser, um, is a hand-painted mural of the crest of the Hyrule royal family uh, from The Legend of Zelda. And I have another video on my channel of the, the process of how, how we went about uh, painting that. On the entranceway to the room, on one side, you have a six-foot uh, femshep. Um, a lot of the stuff in this room on the walls that is made of vinyl um, is very similar, although not branded as Fathead, uh, very similar uh, material. Opposite of Femshep, we have uh, more Assassin's Creed stuff, so Black Flag uh, and Assassin's Creed 3, um, and some of the symbols from the various Assassin's Creed games. On the side wall here uh, we have some cosplay uh, pictures from my wife and I who dragged me into it. I promised I would do it with her once and never again so uh, she got to pick and so uh, we depicted uh, Sarah Farron and Snow from uh, the Final Fantasy 13 uh, series. Along the left wall, uh, this is my Last of Us uh, section. Um, Naughty Dog sold an art book, uh, art poster book, with these uh, images. So I just pulled some out of that to, to frame. Um, I think Left Behind, along with uh, Mass Effect's The Citadel and Bioshock's Burial at Sea, are the, the three best DLCs. Uh, ever released, so had that there. Um, next to that we have uh, a little bit of Halo with, uh, from Master Chief from Halo 4. So next to Halo we got the section dedicated to the Witcher. On the wall there we have a cutout from the Collector's Edition box. And below that a couple maps of the uh, Northern Kingdoms. And the Wolf Medallion from the Witcher School. Below that, it's got a shelf here with a strategy guide, the statue of Geralt fighting the griffin, and the steel game box uh, featuring Siri. Below that is mostly dedicated to Nintendo down here, although in the corner here we have a, um, a suction cup glass display of the uh, featuring the original Xbox logo. This actually comes from a GameStop back in 2001 when the original Xbox was released. Uh, it was a promo uh, display item. Here we have uh, Link in a couple different forms and a Pikmin. And we got some Super Mario Brothers characters. And then we have some non-gaming here. A little bit of Star Wars with BB-8 and Chewie. And a sign of do or do not. There is no try with Yoda in the background. Next to the Witcher we have uh, most of the rest of the corner of this room dedicated to the Elder Scrolls which is my second favorite uh, gaming franchise. Again another cutout from the Skyrim Collector's Edition box. 
and I love world maps, so we have plenty here. Uh, again, the continent of Tamriel, uh, Hammerfell and High Rock, Cyrodiil from Oblivion, Vardenfell from Morrowind, and Skyrim from Skyrim. Down below um, in this section, we have the statue from uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, Collector's Edition. Uh, another Skyrim strategy guidebook. Statue of Elduin from the Skyrim Collector's Edition. And then crossing genres here, uh, we thought Daenerys Targaryen would be a good match for uh, Dovahkin. So she's kind of invaded that space a little bit. And down below is kind of some random Elder Scrolls stuff. Um, right there we have another uh, the, uh, Oblivion symbol, uh, again my wife painted on canvas. Uh, and next to that is actually the uh, something I got on Etsy. It's um, a reproduction of clay for the Amulet of Mara, which is what uh, people in the Elder Scrolls lore uh, give instead of engagement rings. So I got that for my wife. And next to that we have the uh, Daedric alphabet. The uh, Skyrim map, it's actually a black frame, and we bought some crackly paint to try to make it look old. And we have another picture of uh, the Skyrim symbol back there. And above that is actually a little bit out of place, but the uh, Dragon Age 2 uh, logo. And then rounding out the corner, we just have a display from some of the collector's edition uh, boxes that are kind of neat. I have not made a spot yet for my alloy statue, but uh, we'll make uh, a spot for that soon. That was a tremendous game. Didn't have much confidence in Gorilla making a uh, RPG, but uh, I was not a big fan of the kill zone games, but uh, they did a great job. Here's the ceiling on the left side of the room. We got the Normandy SR2 up there. And this does not record well in the dark, but this is what the uh, room looks like with the lightsabers on. And that's it. Thanks for watching.